everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're going to talk about yellowtail and yellowtail setups. Alright guys, it's another glorious day here in Southern California. It's mid-February. It's uh, almost 80 degrees out here on the, uh, out on the thermometer. Gorgeous day. Unfortunately, we're still in a pandemic, so I'm still at home like normal. But anyway, I want to start talking about yellowtail fishing. It's the middle of February, the rockfish opener is in two weeks, and what that means is that yellowtail's right around the corner. Yellowtail's some of my favorite fishing to do. It's some of the best tasting fish out there in the water. In fact, I'll take a yellowtail over tuna anytime if anybody wants to trade. But um, the key to that yellowtail fishing is having the right gear. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I like. Everybody's got their own preferences, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I like to do out on the water. I spend a lot of time on the water, as a lot of you know. Uh, working with a tackle manufacturer, I get some pretty cool opportunities. But here's what I like to fish when I'm fishing for a yellowtail. Personally, I like that Komodo SS. This happens to be the 450 size reel. This is the Komodo, the 471. So it's a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. Sorry, I got a big bird behind me here. Uh, so it's 7.1 to 1 gear ratio, where every crank of that handle, you're going to get almost four feet of line. That's a tremendous amount of retrieve, and you don't have to reel real fast to get that bait back to you. I've got that mounted up on the PCH Custom Inshore 8-foot Extra Heavy Rod. With that Extra Heavy, I can really load this bait up and just cast it an absolute mile, and especially on that Komodo. You can fish round reels, you can fish lever drag, whatever you like. I love that Komodo. This thing's got 30 pounds of drag. So when that yellow tail hits and starts making a run for that kelp, I can really button it down, turn its head, and get it back to the boat, which is key. Now, as far as the line I've got on here, I've got 65 pound soft steel eminent braid, and I've got that attached to 40 pound soft steel flora stretch fluorocarbon. That flora stretch is awesome. It's brand new to the market, but what it is is fluorocarbon in general has zero stretch to the line. The stretchable fluorocarbon actually has some stretch. So it's got properties similar to monofilament, but in a 100% fluorocarbon line. So it's near complete invisible. It's got all the abrasion resistance you like, but with that stretch, you can really cinch down your knots, keep it nice and tight so you don't get any slippage. And then you also have that shock absorption. When those yellowtail hit, they hit hard, they hit fast. And a lot of times they'll, they'll rip that rod almost right out of your hand. They'll snap your line. But with that stretch fluorocarbon, that shock absorption will actually get a nice firm hook set. You can turn that fish's head and bring it back to the boat. Uh, like I said, yellowtail fishing is a lot of fun. You're fishing surface iron, this little guy here. So what that is, is a lightweight iron that are usually just about that size. I like them in that mint, of course, the blue white, uh, the mint and white, the blue white, the scrambled egg. There's some incredible patterns out there. Let me know in the comments what colors you like to fish. And I'll go out and fish those as well. But that surface iron, what you're doing is you're not actually fishing on the surface, you're fishing just below the surface. So when you make that big long cast, you can count it down, you can do whatever you want. But as you start cranking back, that bait's gonna stay in that upper water column from, from the surface, maybe down to 20 feet. Of course, you can count it down as long as you want and get it as deep as you like, but it'll stay right up in that surface. Those yellowtail are cruising, they're gonna see it. They're gonna make a beeline for it and they're gonna smash it. When you're fishing, a lot of times, you don't wanna set a giant hook set on those fish either just start cranking. You'll feel it load up, just keep cranking. You wanna keep pressure on that fish. Don't let any slack in your line. That uh, fish will get that hook nice and set in the mouth. Crank it, crank it, work its way back. You'll get it to the boat, gaff it, and you're right there on the barbecue. Pretty fun fishing. And I've got some monsters, but like I said, 30 pounds of drag, eight foot rod, so something nice and long. You don't have to go that long. Some people like to go longer. Some guys like to use a nice Alua rod, which are even 10 and 12 feet long. The further you can get it from the boat, the better. That's always gonna be the key there. Nice light surface iron. There's some great brands out there. Uh, companies like uh, One Cool Tuna, they do a C and C cut on their aluminum jigs and their steel jigs. So you got the nice sharp cut edges and you're gonna get the exact same swim out of every bait right out of the package, which is cool. Some great companies out there. I'll put a couple links down below, but uh, that's my go-to yellowtail setup. We're about a month or so away from when the yellowtail starts getting really good and then the white sea bass and everything else. You know, a little hint here, this is also my yellowfin and bluefin tuna setup as well. Anyhow, I appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing up in the right-hand corner. We'll see you out on the water.